We are participants in a vast community of beings, and if we open ourselves to its guidance, we can learn again how to live in this great and generous community of truth. Some journeys are direct, and some are circular, some heroic, and some terrifying and chaotic. But every journey, taken honestly, has the opportunity to take us to a place where our deep joy meets the deep needs of the world. Our deepest calling is to grow into our own authentic self, whether or not it fits the image of who we should be. When we do, we will not only find the joy that every human being seeks, we will also find our true path of service in the world. One of the hardest things we have to do sometimes is be present for another person's pain without trying to fix it, simply standing relevantly on the edge of that person's mystery and misery. Wholeness does not mean perfection, it means embracing brokenness as an integral part of life. Knowing this gives me hope that human wholeness, mine, yours, ours, need not be a utopian dream, if we can use brokenness as a seedbed for new life. Wholeness does not mean perfection, it means embracing brokenness as an integral part of life. Knowing this gives me hope that human wholeness, mine, yours, ours, need not be a utopian dream, if we can use brokenness as a seedbed for new life. Remotely, abstract. Before you tell your life what you want to do with it, listen to what it wants to do with you. Before you tell your life what truths and values you have decided to live by, let your life tell you what truths you embody, what values you represent. I now know myself as weak and strong, responsible and talented, dark and light. I now know that being whole means rejecting nothing but embracing it all. We are participants in a vast community of beings, and if we open ourselves to its guidance, we can learn again how to live in this great and generous community of truth. A leader is someone with the power to project either shadow or light onto some part of the world and onto the lives of the people who dwell there. A leader shapes the ethos in which others must live, an ethos as light-filled as heaven or as shadowy as hell. A good leader is intensely aware of the interplay of inner shadow and light, lest the act of leadership do more harm than good.